Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be Who would believe that I could be happy and contented I used to think that happiness hadn't been invented But that was in the bad old days Before I met you When I let you walk into my heart Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be I was afraid that maybe you thought you were above me That I was only fooling myself to think you'd love me But then tonight you said you couldn't live without me That round about me you wanted to stay Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be The university started operations with 649 students in 2013 and has experienced rapid growth in enrolling nearly 4,000 students in the undergraduate programs and more than 300 students in the postgraduate programs, which is a relatively reasonable growth rate and a recognition of the quality of our programs and the, and the value that UOK delivers. To all those who are graduating today, you are the lucky ones. You are the first cream of University of Kigali, and you are the hope of Rwanda. Many of you will become leaders in politics, in commerce, and in the community. By the powers given to me by the University Act of the Republic of Rwanda and by the same powers given to me by the University's Senate, I hereby constitute the congregation. Thank you. The University of Kigali today presents students who are beginning from second class upper. And it is our aspiration that in the next graduation, we may be able to prepare students who will qualify and graduate with the first class. 56% of these students are male, and the remaining 4% are female. This shows that the University of Kigali has given equal opportunity to either gender to participate in the programs that are on offer. Mr. Chancellor, sir. I have the honor to present to you the following graduates who have satisfactorily completed the courses for the award of a degree of Bachelor of Commerce Marketing of the University of Kigali. Yarema Chris, Bishibishi Brian, Mbabazi Melody, Gakwaya Liz, Mguaneza Charles, Nyawikuzo Godin, Bazigaga Constance. By virtue of authority entrusted in me, I confer upon all those names that have been read the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Marketing of the University of Kigali. Congratulations and celebrations when I tell everyone that you're in love with me. Congratulations. 
sustained quality education is a permanent commitment that has to come from the top, from the leadership. And we as promoters, this is going to be always our motto. The, the second level is at the quality of the academic standards. Courses and programs that are designed the University of Chigari are done in such a way to ensure academic standards at all levels. Quality of teaching is therefore a strategic priority of the University of Chigari. We will ensure that our programs, our courses, are uh, regularly monitored, closely reviewed, to make sure that they meet the standards of the best university, they meet the standards of what it requires by our hierarchies in the Ministry of Education and those uh, that are designing uh, courses for the various universities. Now, first of all, let me thank you very, very much, all of you, for turning up for this graduation. Uh, but uh, before I give my short remarks, let me ask the promoters of this university, please, to come in front here to join me. Begin with the, uh, my brother Africa, Inanchi, Dr. Kamia, Madam Africa, and Samuel. Please join me in front. Uh, Honorable Minister, the Chancellor, sir, parents, students, uh, the University of Kigali is made up of brains of these people that you see before you and the people who are committed to give the very best to our brothers and sisters in Rwanda and beyond our borders. We did invest in this institution to give the very best, to give quality of education at any price we can pay from our side, and of course the support of the government of Rwanda, which we appreciate, and we are going to do that from the bottom of our hearts. Honorable Minister, Thank you. Honorable Minister Sir, the team you see before you here is a team committed not by words, but by deeds to give back to what we got from different princes in the world, which we feel is the best we got. And we want to give it back to our brothers and sisters in Rwanda and beyond our borders. And today, we are celebrating the first batch of our students, 130 students, whom we are producing to the world. It's a testimony of our effort to give back to our country and beyond. It's a testimony that our efforts are starting to bear fruits. But it's a testimony that we have a long way to go to give the very best. As the chairman, board of directors has said, for us in the University of Chigari, it's not about money. It's not about money. It's about quality of what we give back to our brothers and sisters. Our lecturers whom I request to stand up, maybe stand up lecturers and staff. Uh, this is the team of lecturers drawn from the whole world, from America to, you, to Kenya, Uganda to Sudan. The international lecturers who are well qualified to give the very best uh, to the students. But we take them on, like we take the students, to give the very best to our brothers and sisters. And uh, our Minister Sam, these people don't have an easy task from the promoters, not at all. Nor do students have an easy task from our side. Because the term best is expensive. But we believe the reverse is more expensive. And we are determined as promoters to give you the very best. So with those few remarks, I want to assure you that as you go down the road, we shall be committed to give you the very best education that cannot get anywhere in this country and perhaps abroad. That's a commitment and a belief that we stand here for. Thank you very much and God bless you. A graduation ceremony 
is an important occasion in the calendar of any university. But for the University of Kigali, today is indeed a very special day because it is our very first one. And it is also, incidentally, my first occasion to officiate as Chancellor. I want to take this opportunity, Mr. Chancellor, sir, to or encourage the students who have graduated today to watch carefully the program because this is culture being inculcated in you. All the people who have congregated here today have come because they have come to witness. They have come to witness what you have achieved. They have also come to hear you make a promise and a commitment that you will serve the nation and you will serve the globe. The confirmation that has been done today is testimony that you have skills, but you need to go out there and build competencies. I believe that we have provided the University of Student, the University of Kigali students, an opportunity to open up doors of careers. So whatever message that is going to be given to you today is very important message. Go out there and make the University of Kigali proud and make Rwanda proud. I urge the University of Kigali to strive to promote quality education for choosing and delivering programs that are aligned with the vision of the country and that ensure sustainable marketing opportunities. The Ministry of Education is and will always be ready to support the University of Kigali to achieve its mission through promotion of academic excellence. And I was uh, deeply encouraged by the commitment which I see on the team of the Board of uh, Promoters, the Board of uh, Governors, the Chancellor of the University, the entire management of the university, the academic staff and, uh, and students, I'm sure that with this current of commitment, the University of Kigali will live to see this objective being fulfilled. <laughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, let me uh, leave with you graduates with a few thoughts, even though all the previous speakers have given you some good amount of thoughts. You are the reason why we are here today. I congratulate you once again, but I equally challenge you. The tasks are high and you must rise to the challenge. You have been exposed to diverse thinkers and the scholars, the professors, and your fellow students. You must understand that no one owes you a free ranch. This opportunity you have today to possess a university education is a, pre a precious thing. For all the arguments and all the doubts and all the cynicism that is out there today, you should never forget that as Rwandese, we enjoy more freedoms and opportunities that those who lived before us didn't have. We are privileged to have a more secure and focused state, free to hold your leaders accountable, and we have the chance to get an education, work hard, and give the current and the next generation a better life. None of this came easy. None of it was preordained. Sacrifices were made to make this possible. I therefore appeal to you to never take these freedoms and opportunities for granted. I challenge your ability to continue this great journey of shaping our destiny.